Online media platforms like TikTok and YouTube make practicing witchcraft more accessible in the 20th century. In our day and age, everything is online. We have the whole world at our fingertips. We can talk to people on the other side of the world. We can learn new languages from apps on our phones, pick up new skills from a couple of videos, and most interestingly, the internet has given us the opportunity to discover and even join new communities that we may have had no idea existed before finding them online. Communities give a sense of belonging, support. They're made up of social relationships based on something which people have in common, like a common sense of identity. Going online gives us the opportunity to meet a wider range of people we wouldn't have met in our everyday lives. Online is where I found out about witch communities, that there are practicing witches in the 21st century. It seems we have begun to let ourselves question the fundamentals our contemporary society, science and reason, was built on. But we are trying to find meaning in life again that we lost due to modernity and rationalisation. We've lost the magic in our lives and we are now trying to get back to rationalising the unrationable. When we lost our spiritual connection in life, we lost meaning, and now we try and regain that back through magic. Magic isn't so obscure anymore. The use of videos online has enabled us to witness magic and witchcraft happen right in front of us. It's no longer hearsay, and we can actually see that people practice witchcraft and magic in their everyday lives. Visual sociology has in some sense helped increase the popularity of witchcraft in the 21st century. Visual sociology is often used as a research tool for gathering data, but the images used can also be used as data themselves. We can use them to study culture we haven't had uh, understood through words alone. When we perceive and see ourselves as often obstructed by our class, gender, culture, race, etc. Our internalised solipsism makes it hard for us to experience and understand other cultures, perspectives. That's why visual sociology is so important and such a useful tool to understand people outside of our own world. TikTok and YouTube has begun to enable non-sociologists to use co this concept to let others have an insight to their lives thus building new communities and bringing people together. The film will consist of investigations into the history of witchcraft and progress into how it has developed into how we practice it in the 21st century. I would also plan to do interviews with some possible witch influencers. I have also found online witch communities in the Bristol area. I intend to use the same sort of techniques Louis Ferrou may use essentially getting stuck in. I can't do this the exact same way as Covid restrictions limit the amount of in-person socialisation can happen, so I'll have to do a lot of self-research and development with regards to books, interviews and most importantly videos. So because of this I'll be taking inspiration from the recently fallen from grace YouTuber Shane Dawson. However problematic he is, his style of documentary series videos is really well done. They normally consist of the first half showing him researching and learning about the topic for people, then going and experiencing it himself in the second half. So the two of these inspirations will guide me on how I end up laying out the film in the end. This will probably end up having a vlog style to it, as it will be a lot of me talking to the camera by myself. Again due to COVID restrictions, I can't do many in-person meetings. I can go around this with video calls, but they can only do so much. I'd like to have a sense of dark academia aesthetic to the film, so it links into the dark themes often associated with witchcraft. Dark academia and witchcraft often go hand in hand online. It's probably due to its nature of encouraging self-discovery and passion for learning. However, the dark academia obviously has a darker vibe to it, hence the name. A quick Pinterest search will show dark browns, blacks, rainy days and vintage well-used books. My research so far indicates that dark academia fits well with witchcraft because they can both be very dark. However, witchcraft is also light, especially with the likes of green witches or kitchen witches, etc. So as the film progresses, or depending on the theme being discussed, at the times the vibe could change to a light academia, 
which has a brighter colour palette and a much cleaner vibe to it than Dark Academia does. I think this will make the film more visibly pleasing and more fun to watch, as you can see the film change as the topics change. There are also important ethical issues I must keep in mind when I'm doing my research for the film. The most important, I think, is their respect for privacy and consent. This is for when I interview people for the film. I plan to let them know fully what the film is about and what I plan to do throughout, as well as what I intend to use the interviews for. And if they want to still help me with my research, then perfect. The topic I will be doing is talking about a lot of people's way of life. Their way of lives, their beliefs, I'm going to be researching people's cultures, so I must be as responsible.